Hey guys, um, I know it's been a while and today's not really going to be a video game review or game topic. Instead, it's a video where I kind of wanted to explain some things and clear some things up. And the thing is, is that I've never really been uncomfortable talking about stuff like this. It's just, I guess I always fail to see a point in doing so. But as months and years passed, I feel like I do want to actually talk about it. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because uh, I do have some consistent viewers on this channel. And it's a small amount, yes, but they do exist. So whether my videos get thousands of views or barely 100 and I see like 15 likes and whatnot, even if you don't comment, I know who you are and I appreciate you for tuning in to my videos. I, I really do. And a couple months ago when I returned with my Edagami review and I saw people welcoming me back, it, it made me feel grateful and uh, I didn't want to leave you guys in the dark anymore. So today I'm going to explain why every now and then I'll come back with a couple videos and then all of a sudden I'll disappear for months on end. So to be blunt, I deal with a bit of an issue and that issue is a bipolar disorder. And it's a mood disorder characterized by phases of elevated moods and low moods. And I'm dealing with a type 2 bipolar disorder to be exact. So my low moods are a lot more frequent and prolonged in comparison to my high moods. Now, my high moods are known as hypomania and my low moods are known as depression. And I'm going to try to explain what they kind of do to me. So... Hypomania is a state where I get this huge surge of motivation and drive, my work efficiency is just fucking booming, my self-confidence is just through the roof, and I just feel like I'm Superman, and you may think like, wow, that sounds great. Uh, the thing is, is that it can be problematic because it can cause some reckless behavior. You know, ideas are rushing through your head. You feel like you're just capable of anything and everything because any sense of reason or doubt is just clouded by all that positive energy inside you. And it comes with other issues like not being able to sleep or even eat properly. Uh, for example, it gets so intense for me that sometimes in the middle of working, I don't eat at all because to me, eating is a distraction. Like it gets pretty bad sometimes. Now, the thing about this mind state is that it's not sustainable. So after a couple of days, or in some cases, a couple of weeks, I will crash into a deep depression. And the thing about depression is that it's the exact opposite of the hypomania. Instead of me getting a surge of motivation and drive, I'm actually being sapped of it. And the thing is, is that it affects extrinsic and intrinsic motivation at the same time. Now, an extrinsic motivation is something you don't necessarily like doing, but you do so anyways because you get rewarded at the end or you avoid future issues. So, for example, you may not like your job at McDonald's, but hey, it pays you, right? So you're going to do it. Well, an intrinsic motivation is the exact opposite. So... The reward is the action you're doing, so you may really like drawing, you may like dancing, singing, or a case for a lot of us is playing video games. The thing is, is that when you're depressed, it's kind of hard to relax and enjoy yourself. Instead of feeling enjoyment, you're feeling this sense of numbness. It's hard to kind of feel happy or put a smile on your own face. And it's not the same as getting bored of something because typically when somebody gets bored, they can just move on to something else to sort of entertain themselves. It doesn't work that way in depression because it's kind of hard to enjoy yourself with pretty much anything. Instead of feeling enjoyment, you feel this sense of emptiness. So instead of moving on, you kind of dwell on the fact that you're feeling that way. So because of this, it affects your extrinsic motivation really badly because you get stuck in this thought process of I don't like work and I don't like anything outside of work. So what's the point of working? And someone would say, well, to survive. But that's the thing. You hit a point where you start questioning the point of survival. Once this happens, uh, minimal tasks become very monumental in your head. It's difficult to get out of bed, to want to shower, to want to eat, or pretty much do anything. You stop functioning. And soon enough, that emptiness becomes all sorts of negative feelings like guilt, anger, hatred. You start questioning your worth. And soon enough, you start questioning the point of doing things like living. And that's when things get really dangerous. It's a really bad fucking place to be in to be blunt and how is this affected my channel well 
you see, you'll notice that sometimes I'll be uploading somewhat consistently uh, during a span of a couple of weeks, and then all of a sudden I just disappear. Well, that's because during those times of me uploading, I'm going through a hypomania phase. I feel so motivated, I'm playing a bunch of games, I'm working on videos, and in the process of doing that, I'm also doing freelance work like voiceover work and graphic design. I just feel like I'm on top of the world, I'm just doing a bunch of things at once, and it's because I have trouble controlling myself, you know, and soon enough, I crash back into my depression, and that's why I disappear for a couple months. It's just how I am, you know? Now, I've been dealing with this for about 11 years of my life, but I only really figured out what I was dealing with like a couple of years ago. So once I was diagnosed, I was put on medication and I was actually feeling better. And I thought, hey, I can just manage things now. But no, I, I didn't learn how to manage anything. And in some cases, things got worse because I just don't know how to function normally now. I feel lost when I'm in neither state. I don't know how to function and apply myself to anything outside of my highs. And when I'm in my lows, I can barely function. But even if I'm not depressed and I'm just in a normal state, I feel this sense of indifference. It's hard to care. And it's just because after going through so many cycles of being high and low, it it's made me tired. You know, I, I feel worn out and it's just kind of hard to do anything at this point. Now, with all this being said, I am getting assistance now. So instead of just being medicated, I'm actually going through therapy to kind of learn how to manage all this to sort of get back on my feet. And honestly, I have been feeling a bit better recently. And I can't tell if it's because of the therapy or just a mood shift happening. But in the process, you know, I've actually kind of been enjoying myself again. I, I've been playing Sifu actually, and I, I've been working on a review for that. And I, I might release that soon. So Hopefully you guys can tune in. But yeah, I just uh, wanted to let you guys know what's kind of been going on and why I just disappear every now and then. Also, I just wanted to say that if you're dealing with the same issues or anything to do with mental health, please try to get help or at the very least talk to somebody about it because this is not something you can really just manage on your own. It's important to speak up because the more you bottle this shit up, it's not going to make it go away. It's just going to fester and make things worse. So at least try to speak up about it. Anyways, uh, thanks for listening and stay healthy, guys. Peace.